Hi, it's Lori, the armchair chef. I'm going to show you what I got at the Hobby Lobby clearance sale the first time I went and probably the only time I go. Oh, I have another one I may go to, the one right next door. Since there wasn't much at this one, I think that might be fun to go over there. So let me show you. I ended up getting some more fabric. I have had some of this before. And this is like swirl faux fur. And I'm wondering, this can probably be used for pom-poms, can it? Oh, the light is so reflective. But I need to open this and see, because I've been looking. I'm doing the uh, monthly creator with... Um, I'm doing the monthly creator with uh, Aaron at um, Crafting Kitty. And the next one is somebody named Chai, Yarn and Chai. And I went to look at her stuff and um, she doesn't have any projects that I want to tackle, but she does have a, a tutorial to do pom-poms. I'm thinking maybe I can do, you know, try it out. Oh my God, this stuff is floofing. <gasps> Ooh, okay, maybe I can try it out with something like this and make a, a couple pom-poms and see how this stuff turns out. Because I have quite a bit of this. And I was looking at prices of uh, faux fur. And on Timu, it's probably like the cheapest. You can get one nine inch square, which makes about a pom-pom this size. And it's still $2. And buying a pom-pom is like $3. So there's really no point making it for the same price I can buy it. But this is very thin. And if I stuff this, what do you think? Would this would this be a wouldn't be a long pom pom, but it could be a pom pom, I guess. If I stuff this, it'd just be a short one, short hair. Doesn't have to be long hair. So maybe I'll try a couple and see how they turn out. And um, I do have a lot of this. Maybe I can figure out something else. You guys got any ideas? Besides a pom-pom, I could do with this. I have some stuff that I have that I can use for lining for hats and bags and things. I have some stuff because I, I get the remnants, you know, when uh, I find them. So, yeah, this is kind of icky coming off. So I'm going to tuck this somewhere else. Yeah, I got that for four bucks. Then, where's the... They had their slippers on clearance, and I decided, you know, I never have enough slippers because eventually they wear out and get flat, and then they're not comfortable anymore. So I went ahead and got these that are on clearance. They're $16 slippers for $3.99. I haven't even put them on yet. Let me see how they feel. Um, I did get the large 910s because I wear a 8.5, 9, and the... Uh, Seven eighths look tiny. Oops, sorry. We still, yeah. See, the nine tens are kind of loose, and that's kind of dangerous when you're walking around and you're old to have loose slippers. But these are nice for the rest of the winter. These will be really nice because these are the ones I wear sometimes when it's not too cold. I got these on clearance at Target for twelve bucks, and they're like um, pool slippers. And they have the Velcro, and I'm going to throw these in the washer, see if they end up looking any better. But I ended up finding a pair of these at one of our dye resale places. Not a thrift store, but it's one of those liquidation places that buys pallets online at these liquidation places. And then they get, I found some. They had these in purple from Target. For $12. So I still paid $12, which I was perfectly happy to do because I got a brand new pair for 12 bucks in purple. So I, because I went back to Target looking for them. I really like them because you can wear these to go places, but I, I wear them around the house or outside to get laundry, walk the dogs in the summer because they're not too hot. Slippers get really hot. But yeah, these other ones are really nice. These will be nice winter ones in the house because I walked outside the other day and uh, my slippers got a little wet. So I couldn't wear them. So I'd always like to have two pairs. So, okay. Now let me get to the yarn. 
Now, while we were doing the video, I came across some bulky yarn and picked it up. These were Reclaim, and this was a regular $8.49 for $2. This is a pretty big ball. This is, it says to use a 7 millimeter hook, which is like one of my faves. And 125 yards, which is a lot for bulky. So I have the reclaim. I have two. Oh, the color is it's recycled acrylic and recycled polyester. And this is really nice and soft. Let's see, does it say I can wash it? I can't tell. Yeah, I guess I can. I can wash it. I just can't iron. I can pee it. Well, I can pee pee it, whatever pee is. It is color rust. This is a nice color. You know what this goes with really well? That sparkly stuff that was in all those Mary Maxson bags. Ooh, I'm going to grab the ball and see if I can come up with it. Because this would be bulky. And I could put two strands of that together. Instead of combining it with this, I could do a project and alternate it. Oh, wouldn't that be cool with a zigzag? <gasps> like a scarf and a hat to match. Oh, oh, yeah. I could do a cowl and a scarf to match because I have a lot of each of these. Oh, thank you. Thanks for helping me figure that out. So I'm going to put that in one of my shoe boxes as a project. And I, may, I might do that for one of my next ones. I have, I'm almost done with my uh, quick and easy project. So let's see, here's another one. Nope, that's not one. Maybe I only have three of those. No, nope. good, I have four of those. So that gives me four or 500 yards. That's not bad. I could make a cow with that one. The other one I have a lot more. Okay, and I have another one in gray, which I would not use with this rust, but I have one in gray. It's quite heavy. And I have another one in indigo. Isn't indigo blue? So this must be a very, very dark blue. So I have that one. Those two can be done together. And I have another one in indigo. So those three. And let's see. Um, yeah, this is very entertaining watching the top of my head. Now, I did find these. These were the Romantique. These were $1.39. There was just these two left. And this would be 83 yards each. This is so nice. This is, you know, this is like definitely cowl stuff. Just use these two and that would be it. Very pretty. Go together. I think I am going to go over to mine. 83 yards, so 166. Just a nice small project. I think I will go over to mine to see what they got left. Um, maybe I'll do that before work tonight. Okay. Now, there is something here I wanted to um, show you specifically because it, it was a, a... It was different getting it. So let me see. I think these are all that's left. Okay, there's one here. What was this one? Tender Touch. This is Tender Touch. It's very soft like the um, Romantique. This was in... Okay, let me show you the other one first. Sorry. Ended up with one soft and sleek, chunky, low pill fiber. This doesn't really look chunky. It says it's a... What's it say it is? Color chili red. It's really kind of a bright chili, a bright red. Low pill acrylic. What's where's? It says use six millimeters, so it must be a five. But it, you know, it looks like a four. I mean, it could be. It's a, it's a big four. So okay, now now this is the rest of the stuff. I was walking around the store the second time. And I went back. I always go back twice because, you know, like I almost missed some of the stuff the first time. 
And I went over in the fabric department and I was thinking, oh yeah, okay, let me look at the fabric and see what, what we got. If we got bolts that are on clearance. So I walked over to the counter and there was a shopping cart that had yarn. In it. Hmm. There's nobody there, but some customers. And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. So I looked, I picked something up and I'm like, oh wow, there's a whole lot of this. So I took it out and put it in my shopping cart. These were 99 cents each and regular 399 tender touch red velvet. And this is like the softest stuff ever. The color is red velvet. And uh, there was a whole lot of these. There was three red, five, seven, nine and uh one gray so i don't know if somebody had put them in there to, to buy them or if these were some that had been marked down to be put in the clearance section or pulled off the rack or i'm not sure but they're mine now so if you want to buy something and you're an employee you better take it off the, the uh store floor just saying because it's fair game if it's out on the floor. So they're mine now, 10 of them. Sorry. And then I picked these up because, you know, you already saw I have a knitting giveaway. And um, so I'll throw these in one of the um, one of the things. Uh, cable needle set. And I know it's knitting, but I have no idea what to do with this. So this would be my Hobby Lobby shopping haul. $44. That was it. I'm very happy with that. And I'm going to put that back. And I want to show you update on my quick and easy project. And I want to tell you, I'm having a lot of fun reading your comments on my um, videos that I've been posting. You guys are getting kind of creative. I love to comment on them, but I really don't want to because of the scammers and such. I don't, I'm just, I'm harding them and, and letting you know I saw them, but I really, I really want to comment on them. Some of them are very cute, funny. So, um, yeah, dog went to get her toy. I was worried. Um, so, and, and, and just to, let you know on that video where I was driving in the snowstorm every time I watch that it cracks me up and it kind of makes me car sick so <laughs> you wouldn't be the only one I it just like I watch it sometimes I'll put my stuff on to watch it to get watch hours and um while I'm doing I'm taking my shower I'll put my stuff on and um it cracks me up so yeah, it does make me a little car sick when I'm I'm driving and that. And if any of you want to do something like that to get through your video faster, that was four times speed. And I just used the um, Windows photo program, the video editor. That's the one I'm most comfortable with using. Um, it has a few little things you can do to it. It's very easy to edit clips in and out. Um, doing the audio is not okay. There's a new one you can download an app. It's a little more advanced where you can um, do the multi thing and add in the audio. So I'm gonna have to practice with that because I want to learn how to do the narrating, to add my narrate my video and then add that audio in instead of using the the audio from the video. That's the one thing yet that I haven't learned to do. And I know some of you already do that. And I wish somebody would tell me how to do that because it would make it so much easier than me having to figure it out on my own. But I'll do it. Figure it out. Um, so, okay, here's my quick and easy project. I decided to use oh, some of that reflective yarn I bought. This happens to be the wool because that's what I grabbed. This is the... Um, this is the purple, reflective. And I found a ball of this uh, yellow neon, which is the stuff I have in the bucket with my um, reflective. I have some of the neon because I use that for my, my son's hats. 
So I decided to do this with the purple. Well, I, I ended up doing a double strand. And I think that's the problem I'm having when I do the hats, if I do a double strand. They end up very stiff and they don't kind of flow. So I'm thinking this was supposed to be a hat, but I'm thinking I'm gonna make a basket. <laughs> Cause it looks like it's turning into a basket. So what I'm going to do is this was supposed to be a um, half double crochet. It's half double crochet all the way around on it. And then it's supposed to switch to extended single with half double herringbone. Well, I can't do a half double herringbone with this double strand. It's just too awkward and it's real painstaking to try to make sure I do it right. So I did some extended half, us uh, extended singles then I did a couple half doubles um doubles just to get thought think it would start moving faster then I realized it's becoming more of a, a basket so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to switch I'm going to switch out to probably half doubles and singles to get it stiffer because it's stiffening up I might go down another size a uh, half size to finish it off so that it stiffens up a little bit and just make a basket out of it because it, it's cute you know it's, it's reflective yarn so what I might do is uh finish off the reflective yarn and then just add another color to the the neon yellow so that it's um I'm not wasting all the reflective yarn on a basket that's a, not gonna go outside or anything but yeah it'll it'll be a little basket so because when my hats turn out like this, it's because I'm not making them soft, flowy enough. So I'm realizing some of my mistakes. And that's why it's good to do this project the way I'm doing it. I'm learning what I'm doing wrong when I try to go my own way. I decided to change it up. And I made, I, I didn't, it's not turning out the way she wanted it because I changed it, so I am learning from that, which is a very good thing, so. But I'm, <laughs> the other good thing is I can figure out what to do with it when it starts going wrong. So this'll be a basket. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was supposed to be a hat. A brimless beanie, so it'll be a brimless basket. I might be able to put the handles on this one, yeah, put the handles. And then what you do is you just put, get plastic canvas and kind of you could tack it inside and it'll stiffen up the sides a little bit. If you have floppy baskets like my, my Lucky Duck basket, just get a little plastic canvas or, or even a cardboard and you could, uh, then on plastic canvas, you can stitch it a little bit just to hold it in place and that'll hold it up. I saw that as a tip on one of my, um, one of my videos. So, okay, that is it for this video. I don't, haven't been working on anything else other than my um, mystery yarn challenge, which I'm going to have to put in another video because I started doing it and I didn't have any of the information. I don't even know where the yarn is that I was using. I don't know what the name of it was. So, yeah, I've got to figure that out. I put it somewhere and I can't find it. So, I got to do that in another video. So, Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting on my videos. I love the comments. Um, it's very fun. I wish I could reply, but I'm not going to do it because of the scamming. I don't want to mess up the uh, picking. Now, I did post the poll um, how you wanted, how you guys think the um, winners for the Mystery on Challenger picked. And because I started seeing that. Um, just because somebody didn't make a big project, it wasn't extravagant and real big, that they probably didn't have a chance to win. And I thought, well, maybe we should do something random. And I see other people using a wheel. So I went out to look to see if I could find something like that. And I did. I found a wheel. And I'll post that when I do my video. I will post that in there. So if any of you want to use that wheel for your contests or anything, it's very quick. It's free. Um, you can videotape it. You could do a screen share with it like I do when I do my Zoom calls, my Zoom videos like I'm doing right now. I'll share out. When I do it, I'll do this and share it on my video and you'll see that. 
And all you do is you type in the names, they show up on the wheel, and then you can spin the wheel. And you can put as much in there as you want that I can tell. And it's, it's very cool. Other people might be using this. I don't know because they never tell you what they're using. But I did find it and it's free. So I will probably do that for February because I didn't get as many votes as I should. Um, I didn't get that many votes. I have 2,000 subscribers and I only got about 35 votes for February. So I think I'm going to put it up on, a, on, on the wheel. And I'll probably do that when I get home tonight and we'll pick a random winner since that's what everybody seems to like best. Well, not everybody. 77% of the people like that best. And that's about how many people voted were the people that voted in my poll. So I think that's about, about fair. Um, doesn't mean that you're... Uh, you can, you know, I can still put the video up and you can always, I'll, I'll put the, the, I'll put the video up with the final projects in it. You guys can comment on them and say how much you love them and, and how pretty they are and everything. And then what I'll, I'll do the, the random wheel for the winner, because I think, yeah, I, I think that's going to be more fair for, um, for, and maybe if I get more than 20 people, we can have two winners. So if you want to play, we're almost, let me see. Let me see how many people I got for this month. Um, I have, I have exactly 20. I have exactly 20 people playing in April. So we could have two winners. Wouldn't that be nice? I think that would be great. And we have one new player. We have one new per. You know what? Let me, let me tell you. Since this is a short video, it's only um, 20 minutes or so. Let me tell you who I've got for um, April so far. I have moi, um, Justine, Deb, Julie, H, Becky, Lisa, Dana, who was new last month, um, Cecilia M, Talena, Michelle L is coming back. She's going to play. Uh, she's a local here in Utah. So is uh, Becky. Uh, Xenia is going to play again. She Have you seen her videos? She is hysterical. Oh, so much energy. She makes me tired just watching. Um, Donna's recovering. She's going to play in uh, April. She's uh, doing good. Go, go and say hi to Melfina's Magic, Donna, and uh, show her some love and wish her well. Um, Julianne, Mary... Roxanne, Scott, Teresa, Sharon is our new player. And Sharon is from Shea K. Ray Crochet. She is going to be new this month and she's going to play. And Charlena's playing. And then we have Jolie. So if you did not hear your name, send me your email because um, I'm not getting many emails now. So I'm getting ready to do my list tomorrow. So send me your email if you want to play my mystery yarn challenge i'm not going to put the instructions in this video because i have a video about that i can put that at the end of this video so you can see it so i will do that uh, put the link to that video at the end if you want to see what the instructions are for the game if you don't know about it so those are the people those are the people i have 20 so i'll have two winners i will pick two people Where every um, 10 people I get, I'll pick two. I think that's fair. Um, and that will be good. I will go ahead and do random for March. And I can do random for February, too. It's up. You guys can go look at the videos. I've already got the... I already put them in the wheel. I, I, did I put March in there? I don't know. But I can make a wheel for February. And uh, I can do that. I can do that like Friday night when I get home or tonight when I get home. doesn't matter if I'm going to do it random. Everybody's seen the, the project. So, all right, let's get going. Send me the emails for your, uh, if you want to play. Now, Lisa never emailed me, but I know she wants to play every month. So she's in. And if you already played in 
the month. I I normally don't contact you, so you do need to you do need to watch my video. That's kind of that's kind of the whole goal here to watch each other each other's videos. And I do watch all of yours. I don't always comment because I watch them on my TV, but I am giving you watch hours. I'm watching everything. It's on my play watch later list. Everybody that is in my game, I do watch all of your stuff because I want to know what you're doing. I want to see what you're doing. So I watch uh I watch Julie, I watch Teresa, I watch Scott, I watch Cecilia's got stuff, I watch um An uh, Angela all you guys, Lisa, I watch all your stuff that you put up. Um, even Char Charlene's still putting stuff up. I watch Michelle's. So I I'm watching your things. If you want to know what's going on and if you want to be in any of my giveaways, I see my giveaway. ring the bell. Hit the bell so you will know when I put a video up because this month, I think there's going to be might be a giveaway at the end of every video. Depends how many videos I put up. So we'll see. Some uh, some of them might not have one because I don't have enough giveaways. So we will we will see how it goes. Okay, thanks for watching and um, get ready for the winners to be picked. I still have four packages to go. Out. I'm really sorry about that. Um, these are free packages going out. They're not things people paid for. I do have paid packages that need to go out. Those those are all ready to go. So, um, yeah. I'm very excited. I just, uh, I, I, I'm more excited to show you my Mystery Yarn Challenge project. But I got to get the information. I, I didn't have it ready. I'm so sad about that. I wanted to do it. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my giveaways this month. Bye. Okay, this is the wheel I was telling you about. This up here is the website, wheelofnames.com. And you just put the names in this list and they show up on this wheel. Okay, and I can shuffle them and it'll move them around. I can do a sort and I can add an image into the middle. So I added a, an image for my computer into the middle and I have a title and I can save that. There's an option to save it, I guess. It, it is free. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if there's any uh, limits or anything. So since I'm not on the wheel, there happens to be 17 people. So I'm going to pick two anyway. Since it's very late, it's February. So we're going to spin the wheel and pick two winners. So here we go. This is our first winner. Oh. <gasps> Teresa will be the first winner. Now Teresa's gone. And we will spin again. Pick another one. I like this. It's kind of cool. And Kelly. Kelly, I have a package over here waiting for you. So I'll be able to send you two. Okay, this is great. So these are the February Mystery Yarn Challenge winners. Um, and I already have a wheel ready for March, but I don't have all the uh, pictures from everybody for March. I have to go through my playlist and um, gather them all together. So, I will be sending you guys out a little something something, and there we go. That's easy peasy. <laughs> Lemon squeezy. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.